everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer, and I'm a teen with a passion for kitten rescue and makeup. Today is Sunday, which means it is a kitten video today, and today we are showing what my pets got for Christmas. So, my pets really got a ton of stuff this year. They don't always get a ton of stuff. This is just the pile of stuff, both for my dog and for my cats, and then my foster kittens. I've got their stockings here, and then I've got, you know, just some toys that didn't fit into their stockings, and Smee's got quite a lot of stuff. It is his first Christmas, so we got some things he would like, and just some things that are helpful for me, because, yeah, <laughs> we'll get into it. After I go through what we actually got, I will show me giving this to my animals because I thought it would be fun to just show them getting some stuff for Christmas. Of course, they don't understand what Christmas is because they're animals, but they love getting treats and toys. Let's go ahead and go into my cat stocking first. So there's this like candy cane shaped thing with some little like puff balls, some like shaky balls, cats like balls. I don't really give my cats the ones that shake in my room, my foster kittens, because then they just happen to play with them at night while I'm trying to sleep and then I don't sleep. So we will give these to my personal cats or just the cats in the bathroom. It just depends. So we do have some of these. I'm not sure I'm going to open all the toys I have right now because not all of these can be sanitized, which means I do have to throw them away in between litters, and I don't want to give all the toys that I have all at once to the foster kittens I have currently because then the next foster kittens won't get as many toys. So next up we just have a bag of Temptations cat treats. This is the flavor savory salmon flavor, and yeah, my cats really like Temptations treats. They're crunchy, you know, based on the feeling. I don't, I've never tried them. That's gross. But... You know, my cats seem to like these. I used to have a cat that only liked soft treats, but my cats now all like hard treats, so we just got some more of these because they really like them. Also, they're very shakable. Like, I just shook it, and my cat Jewel looked at me, and he's like, hey, why'd you shake that? Are you gonna give me treats? And what we do is we keep all my cats in the basement at night, just so, basically, Jewel, my cat, will meow really loudly outside my parents' bedroom door to get in, and they do not want him in their room while they're sleeping, so we have to keep them in the basement. So to get them downstairs, we shake the treats, and then they come running downstairs. It's a way we've, like, kind of trained them to just follow directions and come downstairs and stay downstairs to get treats. And so the hard ones are good for that, because you can shake them, and they know what it means. Next up, we have this cute little refillable catnip toy. I don't know what this is. It looks kind of like a snow person. Yeah, it looks like a snow person, but it's kind of weird. But yeah, there's some catnip here. I think I already have one of these things open in my room, but it's nice to have more of this catnip for when we run out of that. My older resident cats pretty much only play with toys if there's catnip in it, so they will definitely have fun with the catnip. Next up, we have these, like, this ball and I don't know, this little skate toy and a like mouse that's an ice skater? I don't know, it's cute, you know, I think this is definitely cute, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's not necessarily good to give this kind of toy to kittens because they can rip the balls off, but for older cats, this is good. Next up, there are snow mice, or they're just like wrapped up mice. These are cute. Again, these make noise, so these will be for my personal cats because noise is loud in my foster room. But yeah, these are super duper cute. And let's see, I think that's all for their stocking, if you're wondering. We just have this stocking for them here with a cat on it. We have one stocking for all four of my cats, just because uh, we already have a lot of people in my family and no more stockings would fit on the mantle, and cats honestly don't need four stockings worth of toys. And then let's move on to my dog's stocking. My dog always gets a lot more stuff than my cats, just because she rips stuff up faster. She is a dog, and so she rips up her stuffed toys really quickly, and my cats, while they do lose them by pushing them under couches, and into closets and stuff like that. They can make toys last a little bit longer and they also don't play as much as she does. So if we open this up, this is a little candy cane of, oh boy, so many biscuits. They're dog treats. Okay, tea time here. My dog is very spoiled and she will not go outside or come inside on occasion without a treat. So we go through treats quickly just because sometimes she's stubborn and wants to do things her way instead of our way. You know, you'd think your dog would just go outside when you open the door for them to go outside and they need to go, but no, she demands a treat. <laughs> and we have this cute little Christmas tree dog toy. Six weeks. She really likes stuffed toys. She really likes to rip them up. She really likes to play tug with them. So we always get a ton of those. And there are more behind me, you can see. Oh, and there are more. Oh, this is a bone. This is me, like I knew what was in here, but I'm like, oh, look at this. What is this? I know what it is. But this is a bone. She's a small dog, I have a corgi, and so she didn't need one of the huge bones, but she lost her other bone. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't necessarily want to get her a stuffed one just because it seems, it just kind of creeps me out. It just kind of weirds me out a little bit to have like stuff stuffed inside a bone. But the North Pole must have been out of normal bones because they sent the stuffed bone. 
you know, I know they must have been out. Next up, we have more treats. These are Marian Bright Frosted Canes. These are apple cinnamon flavor, which I feel like that's a weird flavor to give to dogs. These are individually wrapped, so I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, well that open, what well, like easy open didn't work. Oh, yes it did. These are individually wrapped, so they're like candy canes that are like dog toys. I think there are a couple other shapes in here maybe. Maybe not, no. Okay, some of them have icing on them, but they're all this candy can shape. They actually smell really good. I know I would not like them because they're dog treats, but they smell like apple and cinnamon. So these are some good treats for her, like little cookies and stuff. We're not gonna give her one of those every single time she goes outside. We give her a little one, but you know, sometimes she just needs a nice treat. So, you know, we'll give her those. Okay, now let's go ahead and go onto this pile of stuff here. My dog has had the same bed for two and a half years and it's like a, one of those pillow beds and it's really, really flat now. So I'm glad she got a bed for Christmas because she definitely needed a new one and I hope she likes it. It's a similar style as another pillow bed because she loves her bed. For my cats, there are another just stocking of toys. These are really good value. I know we got one for my cats last year and we like just used up all the toys in it. This lasted for like a year of giving toys to kittens. And again, like there are shaky ones and I don't give those shaky ones to my fosters, but there are definitely a bunch of cat toys in here that are really good for kittens. They love the mice. And the great thing about the like mice in here is you can wash those. You can put them in the washing machine so those last more than one set of kittens. Some of the toys in here, like the puff balls, what are those called? Pom-poms, the pom-poms. Those don't last more than once, but some of them do, so that's good. We also have these motion activated cat balls. This is not my purchase, but my mom thought they were cool, so we have them. And apparently these are motion activated LEDs for hours of play, sensitive to even the slightest movement. We're on to my dog toys, and then we'll go into the cat bed that you see right here. This big rope. It's a big, big rope. My dog loves tug of war. It's her favorite game. And I think we only have one tug of war rope for her right now and it's very old. We normally like to have a huge box of toys for her so she can pick which one to rip up. But this is just a long, big rope. And then we get to the really cute Christmas toys. Sorry if you hear thumping upstairs. It's Christmas day. I didn't want to tell my siblings to be quiet. So they're doing whatever they want to upstairs. And this room is just like the room next to my door. My room's like over there. So I'm still in the basement like always. And then we got a little Bumble, or an Abominable Snow Monster. My dad loves the Abominable Snow Monster from Rudolph. I almost said Nemo. Why did I say Nemo? From Rudolph. And so we got one as a little dog toy. And of course she'll rip this up, but it's cute. Then there is a gingerbread person that is being eaten. There's a little chunk out of its head, which is totally fair because Peggy's gonna rip more chunks out of it. So. Yeah, what is this called? Squeaking dog toy. Yeah, this is from the Merriam Bright collection too. Same thing as this rope and maybe some of the other stuff. I don't know. But does this squeak? Yes, it has a, has a squeaker in it. Most of the toys we get her, except for the rope, have squeakers. She loves squeakers. She loves to rip the squeakers out of the toys and rip them up. And we have a Rudolph. This toy is probably pretty big for her. She's a quirky, like I said. She's pretty tiny, has really short legs, but yeah, Rudolph has legs about as long as her, but it has a squeaker too. And the last toy we got her is Max from The Grinch. The Grinch is my personal favorite Christmas movie. The new animated one that came out a couple years ago, but I also like the original cartoon. Don't like the Jim Carrey version, sorry. But Max, adorable. We gotta love Max. Peggy's gonna rip this up, but it's really cute. Okay, so we also got a cat bed. We already have a bed, one of these, but it's in pink and Smee loves it. And so we thought we'd get another one because we always need more cat beds. This one's in gray. It matches the tones of my room pretty well because I've gray and purple room. But then also I'm just gonna lift up a big dog bed. Like I said, she's a small dog, but she really likes having options of where she's gonna lay on her bed. So we got that. I'm gonna go and get the two things back there so you can see them better. So this is actually like a baby playpen. Basically you put the walls up and then the baby lies in there safely and plays with the baubles at the top. Ignore the paper towel taped over my address because I don't want you guys knowing where I live, sorry. Basically we thought it would be good for Smee because sometimes he bothers me while I'm doing school by just like throwing himself on top of my computer or into my lap when I need to be writing notes. And so we got this because I felt bad like just locking him into his playpen with no toys because there's just a litter box and a bed in there. So we got this so that he could play, but be contained and have fun, all while not bothering me. So we'll see if he likes this, I think he will. And it has a little lion on it, that's cute. Okay, and the thing I'm most excited about, ugh, this is heavy, and the thing I'm most excited about is a pet stroller. Smee has a pet stroller, so we can basically, I don't know how we can see, but basically this zips down and he can't walk to jump out anyway. When it gets warmer, we'll be able to take him on walks around the neighborhood, and I think 
he'll totally love that because he loves everything. So I'm super excited about that. We're not gonna be able to do the taking Smee on a walk today because it's like 14 degrees outside. But we can go and show my foster kittens and Smee and then my dog some of their toys. So let's do that now. Hi Smee! So we are in my room now. You probably can't hear me as well because the microphone is attached to the front of the camera and I'm in the back. But let's go ahead and give Smee some of his toys. I think he will like some of these so I'm just gonna pull this out here and give him a few. I think you need three toys right now, huh Smee? Want a toy? He's gotta smell it. Do you want one too, Noelle? Here Noelle. Noelle! That's Owen. They're sniffing it. They're just curious because there's so many new things. They're just curious. Curious kitties. So I can't guarantee they're in the mood to play now just because I just, they were sleeping and I threw toys in on them, but I'll try and post some cute videos of them playing on my Instagram. I didn't get any interactive toys for them because we already have a ton of those. Is that a thank you for all your toys? The exciting part will be going and showing Peggy her toys. So let's go and do that now. Peggy's about to be overwhelmed with toys when we take all these up to her, but I think she'll love it. So let's go do that. Actually, let's take her new bed up to her first. Okay, I've got the new bed. Peggy, you want a new bed? Where's Peggy? Peggy, look, it's your new bed. <gasps> Stay still for Peggy, look, it's your new bed. Let's go put it over here. You can see her old bed's kind of flat. It's also covered in dog hair. Look, it's all fluffy. She doesn't know what to think about it. She says, I don't know what to think about my new bed. I think you're gonna like it, Peggy. Look, it's your new bed. So she doesn't quite understand that, but she'll understand toys and treats. She's like, I know what that is. Okay, let me go get them. Peggy, you want your toys? She was mining for them just a second ago. Want a Rudolph? Oh, she's jumping for it. Yes, she wants it. She normally takes the toys she likes to her bed, but I'm not sure she's gonna do that since the bed is all weird. One Max? <laughs> yes. Want a gingerbread person? Yes. Say I want it. Mr. Abominable? <laughs> yes. Yes. Want a big rope? Peggy, you want a big rope? Rama. She's gotta get used to that one. Do you want a treat? Yes, she knows what that word means. Peggy. Yep. <laughs> she grabbed it. Now she's trying to go over to her bed, but what's she gonna think about her new bed? She doesn't know. She said, what happened to my bed? <laughs> she's like, is there more? There is one more. Peanut butter bone. <laughs> yep. She wanted that. That's it! That's all there is! No, <laughs> that's all there is. You got a lot. You want Petsies now? Petsies, Petsies. <laughs> She's so excited. So that's Peggy and all her toys. Smee, do you like your ball pit? It's the next day, but I just built this ball pit for Smee. It's his new play pen. He was just gotten with the dangly things just a second ago. Oh, he loves it. This is made for human babies, but he loves it. It's perfect for him. You just got it down! You just got the hanging thing down! I guess we'll fix it in a minute. But he loves it. This is definitely a great Christmas present. And we have a stroller for him too, but it's snowing outside, so it's too cool to take him out. I did not turn on my light because I'm lazy, but that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more kitten and makeup related content. I upload on Sundays with a kitten related video and on Wednesdays with a makeup related video. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again and goodbye!